QCC chipset is actually quite efficient and it's also quite decent in terms of game um, 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 um. Good afternoon guys and you're watching Tech Tech and I'm your host Nash so today we are doing the series which is I call how fast it is a latency test where we check how fast it is the latency between the headphones to the phone we are just testing the latency between the earpiece and the phone this is no way in shape or form it is a very scientific proof it is just for me to find out who is has the best latency breathing among all of the earpiece i have tried if you want to know who is the leader right now you will see in the leaderboard that in pubg latency test zack and t game ports with the AAC mood on and gaming mood on it has the best performance of 234 milliseconds followed by behind it Halo GT1 Plus with its attacks plus of 251.8 milliseconds the COD latency test the Halo managed to overtake the to take the crown with 223.7 milliseconds while trailing right behind is the Zack NT game port max with gaming mode of 240 so today we have two contenders to challenge for this crown and the guy on my left it is the sound pits QTWS it is only cost me 38 SGD it has wireless charging it can play 7 hours of continuous playback and it's only weigh 39 grams overall while his contender will be the sound pitch true air 2 it cost me 39 SGD it has QCC 3040 it is equipped with Bluetooth 5.2 and it is only weighing 33 grams well will the QCC 3040 Aptex perform better will it take the crown or will this sound Q sound piece Q would be able to surprise everyone with its AAC one way to find out it is to test it out so before we start let's give a quick rundown on what I'm doing the latency test it is only between two between two games which is PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile and the two guns that we will be using will be the M24 and AWM for PUBG and the DLQ33 and Arctic 50 caliber for the COD test and how I calculate this it is based on the motion of the of the scope to the sound come out from the earbuds and that's how we get the how much the delay is and the as I will reiterate again the latency may vary from time to time due to many uh, many variables but just take this as a pinch of salt and the result may plus minus 100 milliseconds and anything below 350 milliseconds is actually superb 
So, without further ado, now let's start with the test.
this is the mic test so currently there is no wind no crowd no nothing okay is it clear is it good how about now i'm going to walk directly to my fan okay is it breezy or oh, the mic doesn't pick it up all right so now i'm going to test with a crowd sound playing from my tv so is it any better does it pick up the mic outside or can you hear me not yeah all right so now we will move on to the next earphone okay so now i'm using the sound pits through air 2 and now is without any difference any sound distraction or whatever is it clear and now i'm going to walk to the fan now i'm at the fan is it clear can you hear me or did it pick up the wind instead okay so now we're gonna try with the crowd sound is it any better is, can you hear me or is the crowd sound too overwhelming so just tell me what do you think in the comment down below all right so now the test is all over so do you think the true air 2 wins or do you think this q wins well let's see the results it seems like my phone tends to pref tends to prefer the sbc mode than the aac mode as you can see in the latency it is way better for sbc than aac and i can say the same for the true air 2 because if you can see in the result that some of the app text result is performed better than the sbc result while some is vice versa if you can see in the current standing the true air 2 and the q managed to attain three slots into the into the pubg latency test and and sbc and the true air 2 perform the best between the two of them and subsequently because both enter the top 10 region it has eliminated the zack nt sound boom and also the anchor live note i also can say the same thing for the cod latency test because the sbc and the aptex result is very close for the true air it was able to slot in into the six to seven place followed by the sound cue try managed to steal the ninth place it effectively eliminate both of the sound boom and also the live note in both categories well i can say the result is not the best but as you can clearly see that the 3040 qcc chipset is actually quite efficient and it's also quite decent in terms of game and it's also quite decent in terms of gaming hey yo another one hello 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 hey 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 go hey yo in terms of gaming wise you can see that the 3040 qcc from the sound pits through air 2 is able to perform way better than the sound pits q and it seems that the sound pits q only perform better when it is in sbc mode than aac mode and take note that it is it is they perform better than ac mode than sbc mode it, your mileage may vary because some 
people their phone is more efficient in AAC such as iPhones while well, some are not so effective and maybe it's just because of my phone there is a lot of variables that I cannot control so in the future maybe when I get a new phone I would make the test a uh, rerun the test again to ensure that they will have the best possible result but for now that is it so if you're seeing this uh, video now it is probably you will question why why the the real me is talking about the sound pits through gen 3 se it is because by right it is this video was supposed to release first before that video and like are you saying that video that that true gen 3 se is not in this competition it is because it will be featured in the next episode which is will be challenging the realme q realme buds q and if you like that i hope you could help me by leaving a like and also hit that subscribe button if you really want to wish to see the result of the latency test and i apologize for the delay this is nash and i'll catch you all next time see ya